SBN Sports Business Now. SBN is a division of Row 27, the digital sports marketing company, celebrating five years of creating TV spots, intro videos, and microsites for over 150 teams. See our work at row27.com. And by FanMaker, digital marketing tools for sports teams, featuring FanMaker Rewards, the most comprehensive and popular fan loyalty and reward system. Learn more about our apps at fanmaker.com. SBN Sports Business Now. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Sports SBN. Business Now interview series where we interview some executives in the sports industry and in the tech industry about their new apps and how it can apply um, to sports. And today we have the co-founder of Eavesdrop, which has been a really massive hit recently, um, Ramel Pariso. How are you? Good. Good to have you on. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Eavesdrop is starting to be known as the Instagram of sound. What mm -hmm. is the app? And uh, describe a little bit how it works. Uh, well, Eavesdrop is an audio-based app. Um, it allows you to... Um, record audio and share it um, with like friends, family. So that could be anything from interviews to like an audio blog or just pretty much anything from your like day-to-day -day life experiences. So what it consists of is like up to 10 minutes of audio. Um, you give it a title, you could hashtag it, mention, uh, geotag it and share it to anybody listening to you. And then how did the idea for Eavesdrop come about? I heard it's kind of a unique story. Yeah, you know, um, when we first started working on um, our startup, we were actually working on a fashion app. And during that time, um, me and my old roommate, were we would uh, watch like games like basketball or football. And we'd comment on, on it like we were like the, the broadcasters. And we thought it would be funny if um, people could actually hear us like talking or commenting about the, uh, about the game. And so during one of our uh, meetings when we were developing the fashion app, I brought it up with uh, two other co-founders, and they loved the idea. So we kind of talked about how, you know, we could turn that into an app, and it became Eavesdrop, where it wasn't really live audio, but, you know, it's something that we would probably do later on, but it was more like just sharing any type of audio. And obviously, a little play-by-play -play action correlates really well to the sports industry. Um, you're quoted in Mashable saying that users can use the app to interview people and then post it directly to the web. How do you right. see this translating to the sports world? Well, and, and you know, when you're watching a game on TV or you're listening to it on radio, um, sometimes they'll give like an on-field interview, kind of a, an update on maybe a player in, uh, injury or you know, kind of what's going on in the game, kind of an inside look. I think it'll be cool, like, uh, with eavesdrop, is that, you know, that could happen throughout the game. So say the game is on Fox, and uh, there's a Fox reporter on the sidelines using our app, just, you know, interviewing players throughout the game. And, you know, if anybody, any, any fans or anybody listening to, like, the Fox eavesdrop account, they could listen in on player interviews, like, during the game, and it's interactive. Um... And, you know, um, teams could do it as well. So if it's like, say, the Chicago Bears and um, they're kind of doing uh, a story on a player on the field or, again, another update or interview on the coach and things like that. Yeah, no, I can just think of tons of opportunities to use this app already. Um, <laughs> you know, PR, from a PR perspective, especially getting a couple sound bites from players and then automatically uploading that to the web so definitely increasing that second screen experience um, and like you said the reporter inclusion is a great feature as well um, how are you different from other audio based apps like doubler um i'm not too familiar with doubler i know okay. they are they do share audio but uh, i think there's there's doubler there's um what's the other one digi social mm-hmm they're, I don't think they record uh, 10 minutes of audio. I think they're more kind of a push record for about 60 seconds, I think. Don't quote me on that. but Okay. Yeah, about 60 seconds, I think, on audio. And 
it's more of like a little blurb than um, like a longer recording like we would do. So, um, and I think photos are mandatory for their post, if, if I'm not mistaken. With ours, all you need is a title and audio. You don't have to post a photo if you don't want to. So we're more focused on like long recordings and audio. Why do you think audio uh, and sound is really the next wave in social media? That's kind of all the buzz recently. Um, it's interesting because when we first uh, came up with Eavesdrop, we weren't looking to, you know, do something different. We were, we we liked the idea and we went with it. And now it's pretty awesome. There's there's all these other apps and uh, coming out that sharing audio. And I think it's just naturally, you know, progressed that way. You know, at first we shared video and and text with Twitter and then photos. And really the only thing left is audio. And um, it was kind of our original communications with telephones. So it's, it's kind of coming full circle. And you guys just um, wrapped up at South by Southwest. Describe yeah. your experience there. Oh, South by Southwest was awesome. It was my first time there. We were there throughout the, uh, the whole week. So we, f we started out at um, their interactive portion. So uh, our app was received very well there. We were at the uh, Startup Village. And we gave private demos, and everybody loved it, and everybody was so supportive. We met a lot of startups uh, from, you know, all around, and um, they liked the app. We kind of stayed around for the music portion because we thought that our, our app is perfect for, like, shows and concerts. So we threw a um, kind of a music showcase with Eye in the Sky Collective, and so we did uh, a two-day music showcase. So during that, we used the app, uh, interviewing the bands, you know, after they performed and kind of sharing that um, on our um, social network. Very cool. And it's not available right now, correct? But where can That's, people find you? Uh, if Right now, um, you could pre-register your username on eavesdrop.com. That's E-E-V-Z-Drop.com. Um, so you could pre-register your username. Uh, you'll be the first to know when our app hits the App Store. Um, so that should be pretty close. It should be coming soon. Well, I know that I will be registering my name with each because <laughs> I love what you guys are doing. I think it's a really great idea and uh, best of luck to you in the future. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. And thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us and you can find us on sportsbusinessnow.com or on Twitter at SB now. We'll see you next time.